phrasing in and out a bit. Um, that red stuff, the bowl, is yeah. made of... No, it's a bowl. No. Okay, sorry. No. This is shellac and red okay. pigment. I know generally we're working on water gilding, but um, we've got to put this on now, yeah. so we, it has a long time to dry, so we can sand it tomorrow. So we can do oil gilding um, either tomorrow or probably tomorrow afternoon is what I'm aiming for. So you were saying that if there was half a jar of the shellac, it would be a teaspoon of... Half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of... No more than a teaspoon of pigment. Depends on the pigment used. This is actually cadmium. I, did, I had it lying around. I must have bought it about 25 years ago. Real cadmium? Cadmium light red, I think it is. But real pigment. Real, oh, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's not so good for your health. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's why. Well, it's a horrible colour. Don't drink it. Here, <laughs> and tomorrow, the second layer, then, you won't sand, is that it? Uh, yeah, you should sand it, yeah. Well, that's leaving another 24 hours. Ideally, yeah. We'll just have to. That's quite quite hot, so I think we can get away with it. So, I uh, yeah, forgot to remove the, the paint there. Yeah. I'm a bit naughty here. Normally, I would remove the. Um, the paint with the wet brush before I did this, but I'm just going to put the shellac straight over. This is a demonstration board I painted an icon for one of my um, five day courses. Someone in China has bought it. So. Just grabbed it yesterday to gild. I wouldn't use the same mix for painting around the ears, it's too too bright. So I just use a straight red ochre for the um, the shellac, the borders and the sides. Okay. One layer is not enough to seal. You can see there the shiny bits are sealed enough, but you can see most of it is matte. That's because it's soaked in and it wouldn't be quite sealed enough. So you do that and then lay it aside and then clean your brush out. Not only that, with cleaning brushes um, to save um, using vast amounts of your solvent. Um, before you use the solvent, get a bit of paper and wipe as much off as you can first. And then get your solvent out. Smelling methylated spirits always reminds me of our dentor, dentist at primary school who had sterilised the tools and um, methylated spirits. Do you wash the brush afterwards? You could if you wanted, yeah. I can bring a rag with me. So I'd normally squeeze it up with the rag to get any excess up. i use paper here. Yeah. Any questions about that? You wouldn't just rinse it and put this into a jar. You wouldn't put the metalers <coughs> into a jar and well, you could, brush in. We could do that. But this, this, I put it in quickly and you take the bulk off. But if you just rinse it, um, the trouble with that is you've got a lot of pigments 
swashing, swimming around. Good. So tomorrow we will lightly sand that. Um, what, what sand paper is it? Thousand or? Um, We'll see how it goes. Five thousand. Um, if it doesn't take any ridges off, then you might go to eight hundred. But five thousand, twelve hundred. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. 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 so do that, and then hopefully, in a few minutes, I'll have seen everyone's drawings, and then um, uh, we can start with the uh, the bowl. Okay. So now.